Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to flash or install a radio on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus via Fastboot. So we are going to go ahead and install the FD01 radio at the moment just in this case, but uh, this method will work pretty much with any radio, obviously. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first of all, I am on the FC12 radio to double check and show you guys. I'm gonna to go to um, About Phone and under Baseband version. The last four digits will basically tell you which, uh, which radio you're running. I believe the left one is the CDMA radio and the right one is the LTE radio. Don't hold me to it, they are separate. You can interchange them if you wanna run a certain uh, LTE radio versus uh, a different CDMA radio, you can. So they are uh, interchangeable. So as you can see right here, FC12 on both um, LTE and CDMA. So let's go ahead and jump into it. What we're gonna need to do first is actually, you need to make sure you have the uh, Android SDK installed on your PC. I will link to that video in the description, so make sure you have that installed. Uh, just go ahead and watch that video and get everything all set up on your PC. And once everything's all set up, we're gonna need to go ahead and just power off our device, um, power off our phone, and click on the link in the description of the video to the files. Once you click on the link, it'll take you to the AC Syndicate site. Go ahead and scroll down. As you can see, I went ahead and uh, hosted all these files for you. Uh, you'll see I have the FC12 uh, radios along with the FD01. Those are the only two out at the moment, but obviously this can work with any future radios as well. So here we go. We got this, them separately. We have the CDMA radio and the LTE radio um, for both. So, I mean, I recommend always having the latest stock one just in case anything goes wrong with one or the other. So um, go ahead and download, I'm gonna go ahead and download these FD01 radios. So I'm gonna download both of them. As I said, you can interchange them. So if you only wanna install the CDMA radio, obviously, because there's no point in the LTE one at the moment, um, then you just can, or you can install both. So there we go, let's go ahead and jump into it. So what we're gonna need to do is download both of them. What I recommend doing after you download them is put them all in one folder. So I have my own folder. Um, let's go ahead and check it out. As you can see right here, I have my own folder. I just called it new folder, I haven't renamed it yet. You can rename it to Nexus Radios if you want or something. As you can see, I have all four of them. You'll see FC12 Radio, FC12 Radio CDMA, FD01 Radio, FD01 Radio CDMA. Obviously the FD01 Radio is the LTE and the FD01 Radio CDMA is the CDMA one. So we are just about ready to go. What we can do is just go ahead and hold the shift key on your keyboard and right click um, and then to hit open command window here. So open up a command prompt. That's what it's gonna go ahead and do, as you can see. So what we can do now is go back to our phone and what we're gonna need to do is press and hold volume down, volume up, and power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three buttons and it's gonna go ahead and take us into fast boot. So as you can see, it takes us into the fast boot screen. All we have to do now is go ahead and plug our device into our PC. So plug our phone on into our PC. And once done there, you don't need to be rooted or anything. This will work complete stock actually. So once we went ahead and plugged that in, um, we're gonna need to double check and make sure that Fastboot recognizes our device. So go ahead and type in Fastboot Devices and you'll see it should show up a bunch of letters and numbers and then that basically lets you know that uh, it recognizes uh, your device. And once done there, we are ready to go. We're actually gonna go ahead and need to type in the command now to flash the radio. So what we're gonna need to do is type in fast boot space flash space radio hyphen CDMA space. And then go ahead and choose the CDMA radio you wanna flash. So what we're gonna need to do is I'm gonna flash the FD01 CDMA radio. So you're gonna need to type in that file name. So FD01 radio hyphen CDMA dot IMG. You need to make sure you include that dot IMG at the end because that would be the extension of the, the file. So make sure you have dot IMG there and just go ahead and hit enter. So there you have it. So it'll go ahead and flash the CDMA radio. That actually will take a little while to write. So you need to be patient with it. Um, my guess is probably 30 seconds to a minute it's gonna take to write that uh, CDMA radio. So go ahead and give it some time and make sure you don't unplug your device, obviously, or pull the battery or anything like that. Make sure you leave it connected. But uh, go ahead and just let it sit and do its thing. 
All right, so it just finished flashing. As you can see, it took about 92 seconds, so about a minute and a half, a little longer than I expected. So, I mean, you gotta be patient with it. It took a minute and a half. But anyways, now what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and flash the LTE radio, since we just flashed the CDMA radio. Basically, you need to always do this. So you always need to go CDMA, LTE. I don't care if you only wanna flash a specific CDMA radio or a specific LTE radio. You always need to flash a CDMA radio and then an LTE radio, the reason being, once you flash a CDMA radio, it overwrites the LTE radio, etc. So always uh, just flash both of them, the, both of them, the ones you want. Um, but anyways, now let's go ahead and type in the command flash the LTE radio. So just type in fast boot flash radio space fdl1radio.img or whatever the file name is. I mean, depending on whatever radio you're flashing, and go ahead and hit enter. Once you hit enter. It will take a lot shorter, and as you can see, it's done already. It only took three seconds. So now, once done there, we're actually ready to go. Just type fast boot, reboot, and hit enter. What it's gonna go ahead and do is actually reboot your Sprint Galaxy Nexus, and once it boots up, I will be back. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys we are now on the FD01 uh, LTE radio along with the CDMA radio. So let it boot up, and I'll be back. All right, so my phone has just booted up. I'm gonna go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and under about phone, as you can see under baseband version, it now says FD01 on both sides. Um, that means uh, the left one would be the CDMA radio, the right one is the LTE radio. So as you can see, I am on FD01 on both of them. So there you have it. That would be how to flash a radio on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus. As I said, you just gotta replace the file name with the specific type of radio you wanna flash, but that should work throughout uh, all future radios. But that's it, so um, be sure to subscribe to me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.